All right, I wanted to make a brief video talking about the difference between um, stratified random sampling and cluster sampling. Uh, apparently in our Moore book, the cluster sampling isn't covered very well, uh, but it's uh, something that, uh, that I want to talk about, kind of an important way of, of collecting data. In stratified random sampling, uh, what we do is we break the population into similar groups or into strata. Uh, it's kind of like the geological thing where you've got stratified rock with layers of rock on top of each other. Kind of the idea is you're breaking your population into layers, into groups that are um, roughly similar, and then you randomly choose individuals for each group. So um, if I've got a population with the red triangles, the, the, the blue squares, and the green circles, I might first group the population, all the triangles together, all the squares together, all the circles together, and then randomly choose out of the red ones, out of the red triangles, choose one to be in my sample, choose one uh, um, uh, rectangle or square to be in my sample, and then maybe choose, a because there's more uh, circles in there, maybe I'll choose a couple of circles uh, to put into your um, into your sample. All right, and then if, um, come on, move to the next slide. There's that. Oh, so cluster sampling, on the other hand, is um, you break the population into small groups, uh, and then the, each group is chosen as a sample. And so here you've got your population of, of circles and triangles and squares, and they're just sort of scattered about, and you, you randomly somehow or another group them together, and then you randomly choose one of those to be um, be your sample. Uh, so any one of these these five options might end up as your sample. Um, so you know it might be, well, I've got what one, two, three, four, five groups. I'm going to use my calculator to generate a number at random between one and five. Oh, uh, where is my calculator? I don't have my calculator open. Um, well, anyway, I'll do it off screen. Math probability rand integer one comma five and it gave me number five. So I'm going to call this the this looks like the fifth group. That's how I number them. So this would become my sample. And um, uh, the that would make um, uh, that would be my sample. And uh, the the cluster sampling works well if the small groups are representative of the population. And um, we'll see here, uh, maybe this fifth, I mean, I just got lucky that I chose the fifth one because the, the fifth one isn't necessarily representative. It has roughly an equal numbers, um, uh, red, blue, and green, but we know that there's more green in our population. And so the green circles uh, might be underrepresented in this cluster. Uh, and so um, that's a little bit of your R homework sampling uh, thing that you want to look at is to look at different ways of sampling out of different groups and and see if you end up with groups that are representative of your population and so your R is having you do, with that R assignment you're you're looking at that simulation and seeing what what sort of things I don't know why I'm coloring that in but I am all right anyway uh, so that's the difference cluster sampling uh, your populations are your small groups are representative of the population, they're, they're supposed to be um, a roughly a, a minor, you know, reflection of the whole population as a whole, but it's a smaller group. Uh, in stratified sampling, all your groups, the people in the groups are all the same. So everybody in one group is all, you know, have, has some characteristic that you um, you think is the same. Uh, and then this has another, has another value for that characteristic that you think that it's the same. Uh, sort of thing. And it will work okay. Stratified random sampling works okay if the groups are similar. Uh, if, if really choosing that one red triangle, um, their opinions would represent the rest of the red triangles. You know, the, the, they're similar to the rest of the red triangles. If they're different, if you know, then, then you're not getting a good, a good sort of group there. Oops. Trying to switch slides there. And then in cluster sampling, you know, you've got different groups. The, the thing, each group is, is made up differently, and your entire group becomes the sample in there. Uh, all right, so uh, that's kind of a rough view of the difference between the two. I hope that kind of helps your understanding.